how to calculate sample size based on path coefficient in SCM model. Imagine we have a model with one dependent variable and two independent variables. So you can see customer satisfaction is the dependent variable and we have two independent variables, customer expectation and the perceived quality. After doing the smart PLS analysis, okay, and after confirming that these two independent variables are significantly impacting customer satisfaction. Now we must see the path coefficient of each independent variable on the dependent variable. For example, here you can see the CE is impacting 0 0.177 and PQ is 0 0.243. So we must select the minimum path coefficient value. Basing on the minimum path coefficient value, we can estimate how much is the minimum sample size required for this model. I will show you a formula, very simple formula. Using the simple formula, we can come to an estimation of the sample size. Basing on the sample size, we can say whether we can use that sample for this model. So in this case, we will take this one. The minimum path coefficient is 0 0.177. So I'm writing the same thing once again. When we do SCM analysis, we will get the path coefficient and we need to select the minimum path coefficient value, which is significant for calculating the sample size. And when you're calculating sample size, we must see at what level of significant we are doing this. For example, if you are doing it 5%, this is a formula. The sample size is 2.486 divided by modulus of minimum path coefficient. Modulus means we are not going to take plus or minus only plus the value will be taken and whole square. Now in our example, we got the p value as 0 0.177. So if we calculate that is 2.486 divided by 0 0.177, we are going to get 14.04 whole square it then the sample size 197 so this is a minimum sample size required for this model now this is very easy to calculate the disadvantage is after we collect the data after the analysis is done we are getting the minimum path coefficient value then only we are able to calculate the sample size it's only simple like confirming whether the sample what we got is adequate or not. If the significant value is 1%, significant level is 1%, so we are going to use this formula, that is 3.168 divided by modulus of minimum path coefficient whole square. And if it is a 10% significant level, then 2.123 divided by modulus of path coefficient whole square. So this sample size, we can confirm basing on the model basing on the minimum path coefficient value.